All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Meadow's all settled in, so let's get right into this trim. And it is pretty obvious what the issue is with this cow. What is unclear at this point is exactly how large this particular nail is. But let's get it cleaned up and we'll find out. I can move it with my fingers, and that's always a good sign. The length of that nail, however, is not a good sign. You can see here after I've cleaned it up, this is an old corroded nail, about two inches long and about one and a half inches was embedded in that claw. Now, much like if we were assessing a white line issue, we need to pare away this horn to see what we've got. One of the perils for cows that spend a lot of time on pasture is that they can pick up things in their hooves and bring them back onto the concrete and then get those embedded. Anything from nails, screws, rocks, any of these things, once brought on to the cement in their hoof, under the weight of the cow, can embed that into that sole. That's likely what we've had happen here. Much like white line issues, punctures are also going to have areas of separation associated with that. So in turn, we must pare away that loose horn just to make sure that that doesn't cause any additional issues. Luckily for this cow, that nail only touched a small portion of that corium and then worked its way back into the sole. When it comes to treating something like this, all I can really do is give it a good thorough clean down with some chlorhexidine and some gauze and then put a salicylic acid wrap on it. Anything else has to be handled by a veterinarian. And yes, of course, we will put a block on that other claw. I'm gonna get this wrapped up now first in this case. Typically I don't do that, but in this case I'm gonna to keep both claws clean for the process. If you wanna know more about that dog you saw at the beginning, stay tuned. We've got an update on Meadow at the end of the video. Now let's get this claw cleaned up, get that block applied, and we'll give her a test drive to see how she's walking. And I'd say she's walking pretty well considering. Now, if you've been following this channel for the last year, you will remember we surprised our children with a brand new puppy last Christmas. A tiny little ball of energy. We named her Meadow. Now, guess what? It's one year later, and yes, she is still a ball of energy. And she's still got a lot of puppy left in her. And lots of zoomies. She even decided to try on some Nate the Hoof Guy merch. Bless her heart. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.